Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well and uh, you're staying safe and healthy during this time. I know we've been getting a lot of questions about um, grades and uh, if it's possible to make it easier for you to see what a student's grade was before uh, this, the, the actual physical school closure on um, March 13th and uh, then overall. And uh, I have good news for you that we do have that ability in Canvas. So I'm going to show you how that looks and uh, kind of walk you through that. And I've also uh, turned this on in our beta instance. So I'll be um, emailing you out instructions on how to log into beta. But basically, you just use the same credentials as you would normally uh, to log into Canvas. But the URL is a little different. It has um, dot B-E-T-A, beta, um, right after H-B-U-H-S-D. So let's dive into the grade book and take a look at uh, a sample course that I have. Of course, my all-time favorite movie has to be Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So uh, I have a class here, a sample class, that's made out of some familiar characters, if you've watched the movie. Uh, at the top of my roster, we have Ferris Bueller, his sister Je Jeannie, Cameron, and uh, Sloan. And then I also have the test student that Canvas puts in there once you um, view your course as a student and go into student view. So here's my grade book. Uh, the total is way at the end over here. So I'm going to um, click on these three dots and I'm going to um, move it to the front so that we can see um, the effect on percentages uh, more easily and we don't have to scroll. And um, then from there, what you're going to uh, do is you're going to see in view, there's um, some filters. And so we've always had assignment groups like quizzes, uh, discussions, essays, uh, quit, uh, tests, homework, um, whatever assignment groups that you would put in. Um, this is new. Grading periods will come back to that in a second. And uh, we have modules, so you can, if you're using modules, it's a great reason to use modules. You can um, just filter your gradebook by the most recent module that you're working on, and it makes it a lot easier to manage um, without having to scroll so much. And it makes it quicker for you to enter uh, information there and see it. And then you also have the sections filter if you just want to see um, a particular period um, or all of them. So I'm going to go to grading periods here. And you'll notice as soon as I clicked on that, you see a filter up here and the default will be all grading periods. So this means basically the whole spring semester of 2020 um, cumulative effort. Um, so this is um, all the grades. Uh, if I were to go to the drop down here and I clicked on before closure, you can see now it is showing different totals here uh, and this is fil basically filtering all the assignments in your gradebook by their due date and anything um, that is equal to or less than March 13th um, is going to show up here. So you can still change um, scores if students turn in work or uh, there was uh, a problem or a, a discrepancy. You can still do that. It, it's uh, that's OK. Um, you can also change due dates if you need to, to, to make sure that this is correct. But here's all the assignments before March 13th. So let's take a look at what happened here. So you can see Ferris is, uh, all these assignments are the same amount of points just to make this easy. On um, all these assignments right here, he is getting uh, nines before, before uh, closure. So he has a nine, a nine, a nine, a nine, 90%, okay. Um, his sister not doing um, as well uh, is only getting like all sixes. So she has a 60%. His friend Cameron is looks like he's getting a D and then turning in every other assignment. So he's got a 30%. Uh, Ferris's girlfriend Sloan has got a 95%. She's like nines and tens across the board. Um, so let's take a look at um, what happens uh, when we look at all grading periods. So we can see, whoa, Ferris's grade dropped to a 45%. And I labeled all the assignments with a two on it in this course to 
make it easy for me to um, see that it was um, after closure. So one is before closure, two is after closure. And I have the grade book, um, I have it um, arranged so that the due date newest to oldest. So this is the most current right here in the front. Um, so you can see zero, 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 zero. So he didn't turn anything in during our uh, distance learning period for whatever reason, we don't know. Um, so uh, his grade is a 45 if those zeros were going to count. Um, but his before grade, remember, was before closure grade was a 90. Okay, so go back here to all. Uh, his sister, um, her before closure grade was uh, not so great. She was getting like all sixes, but uh, it turns out she's really good at distance learning and really has applied herself. And so she's gotten perfect marks on everything in distance learning. And so her cumulative, cumulative score would be 80% um, if all the grades counted. But if we were just going by before closure grades, it would only be a 60%. And uh, you can see the story for the other students is, is um, you know, Cameron started really applying himself after he got in trouble with his dad. And uh, he started getting a 10, a 10, a nine, um, but he didn't do these these uh, three assignments right here. And he didn't turn in any makeup work or his teacher wouldn't uh, accept makeup work, whatever the reason. He he ended up uh, with a 39, which is higher than what he did before. And then uh, Sloan, she um, had one zero right here for distance learning. And that dropped her from an A to an 89.17% because if you look at before closure, it was a 95%. And then our test student, um, we're going to go into the student view so you can see what that looks like. But our test student here, uh, before closure was all eights. And then um, for all grading periods, you can see that the test student got all tens during distance learning. And so that um, averaged out to a 90% overall. So if we click on our course name right here and we go to our homepage, we can go to student view. And with the student view, we can see what um, the actual student sees in uh, Canvas. So this is the, the test student, not a real student, but um, I've put in scores so that we can see what the grades look like. So if we click on the grades for the test student here, um, you can see that the test student sees 90% because the default will be all grading periods. However, the test student does have the option, just like the teacher, to go to before closure, um, arrange the assignments by however they want, due date, module, title, etc., and then hit apply. And then once they do that, they can see that um, here are their before closure scores, all 80% as I showed you, and the total up here, 80%. Uh, so there's before closure, going back to all grading periods, hit apply, and 90% if you are looking at all grade, grading periods. So hopefully um, this answers some of the questions you have, maybe puts you at ease. Uh, all the information is there in Canvas. This is a, a non-destructive uh, process. It's just a filter. It does not change any of the cells in your gradebook, the um, rules the categories, uh, all that will stay the same. It's simply a filter that will allow you to see what the before school closure um, grade would be and then what the cumulative grade would be. So with that being said, I think that covers it for Canvas. If you have any questions, please let me know.